Kim Adams Leger, State 4 H Specialist. And I have with me today me, Milo Leger. And as you know, it's already spring. It's time to get started on your state fair projects. What's the greatest state fair project you like, Milo? Cornmeal muffins. And that's what we're going to make today. We're going to show you from start to finish how to make the perfect cornmeal muffin. The first thing you need to do is follow food safety. So what do we need to do, Mila? Wash our hands with antibacterial soap and warm water. For how long? About 20 seconds. 20 seconds, that's really good. Something else we need to do that we both have already done already also is pull our hair back. Why is that important, Mila? We don't want hair in our food. That's nasty. We've already washed our hands. We already have our all of our ingredients set out uh, and pre-measured. So we're ready to go with that. Yeah. Good, nice, clean hands. The first thing that we're going to do is preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Which we have already done. Great. The next thing Mila's going to do is she's going to use a non-stick spray and spray a standard 12 muffin tin um, Baking pan. So if you can do that for me, Mom, that'd be great. And just lightly spray it. Good job. The next thing uh, we're going to look at is our ingredients. We need a mixing bowl um, and a smaller mixing bowl if you haven't done it already. You're going to need self rising cornmeal mix. And make sure when you look at your, when you purchase your cornmeal, that you make sure that on the ingredients box it says self-rising yellow cornmeal mix so that you have that ingredients there, okay? Now, Myla, since you've already done this uh, and you've already preheated the oven, what is our next thing that we need to do to our large bowl? Uh, we need uh, to beat the egg lightly. Okay, and you've already done that yeah. already. Okay, and you put it in our small bowl. Mm -hmm. So, now we've also pre-measured our <clears throat> two cups of self-rising cornmeal mix. So, um, Milo, if you'll go ahead and put that into yeah, our large bowl. Very good. Okay, and then now if you'll add the wet ingredients to the dry. The dry self-rising uh, already has leaveners in it, and that's why you don't have to have baking powder or baking soda in that already. This is our egg. Okay. One and bean egg. And we have our a cup and a third of regular milk, low fat milk. Okay. And then we're going to use a quarter cup of oil or melted shortening in there. And while I've got a quick quiz for you uh, on there. Um, can I measure wet ingredients in one of these? No, you can't. Okay, why? Um, wet ingre ingredients are more dense than dry ingredients. That's so correct. So they're more compact than dry ingredients because the comp of dry ingredients don't have air, air and stuff powder. That's right. So this is a what kind of measuring tool? This is a dry measuring tool. This is a wet measuring tool. And you've seen some of these as a wet measuring tool. Good job. Alright, so Molly, if you will mix those together for us. And you just want to be, and you just want to measure, uh, stir your ingredients until they're combined. The batter is going to be somewhat lumpy still uh, because you don't want to over mix. When you over mix it, it makes a really tough uh, cornbread mix. So you don't want to do that. Now here's a little helpful hint that we have found also. Um, you want to fill your muffin tins two thirds of the cup uh, full. Um, one of the biggest things for your state fair and your county fair entries is to make sure everything, all your muffins are equal shape and size. So what we like to do is we like to use a scoop and that ensures that everyone has the exact amount of filling in there. 
And this scoop um, it is really good because it has this mechanism which cleans out the bottom. So that you're ensured that every feeler is exactly the same. Now this recipe is based upon a 12 muffin baking pan. If you use a mini muffin for your own recipe, um, you're, need to go, you're going to need to adjust the time that you bake it. Um, this recipe is going to bake it at 450 for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, please also notice that we did not use any liners or foil liners in our baking today. Uh, you're not going to want to use those for your uh, fair entries as well. We want to be able to see the nice crumb and the edges on the bake of the judges. Um, we're going to bake this again uh, at 450 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Molly, you want to put this in the oven? Yeah, I'll open the door for you. Moisture creates mold and mold makes the muffins rancid fast. 